series. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Savannah and Kudzi, and in this series, we will be meeting some of the students working on UBC design teams, the projects they work on, and the spaces they occupy. We, we hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy the, the video. video. My name is Matthew. I'm on UBC Thunderbots. Come on in and I'll show you around. So what do you build and do you compete? Yeah, so we build autonomous soccer playing robots. So what that means is actually we design, build, and program robots that play autonomous soccer against other teams. That means we don't actually control them while they're playing the game. And we do compete. We compete in the small size league of the RoboCup organization. The small size league just puts restrictions on the dimensions of our robots and certain rules related to the soccer rules. And we go compete there every year. What position do you have and what does that mean you do? Uh, I'm both the captain and software lead of the team, so on the software side, I help organize members uh, so we can work towards our goals for the year, so whether this is some kind of new strategy for the team, or things like passing, or different control, uh, working with people to actually work towards these goals and break down issues and make sure everyone can get involved, and then on the captain side, I just help manage everybody with finances, sponsorship, outreach events and demos to high schools to help get kids engaged with robotics, and all things like that. Yeah, I'm just working on the visualizer sheet and that's what's supposed to be in the field. No, it's looking pretty good. Keep it up. Thanks. How about you guys? Uh, it's okay. We hit a bit of a snag, but... Uh, oh, no, it's looking good. Let's test passing. Keep it up. Tell us about your sub-teams and what they do. Sure. So we have the mechanical sub-team, first of all, and the mechanical sub-team deals with all the physical components of the robot. So they actually design and build the physical robots. So the dice for the wheels, all the different components that actually allow us to kick and chip the ball are all done by the mechanical team. Second is the electrical team, who's all responsible for the different power electronics and encoders and communication aspects of the robot. So things like radio, we actually power up the robot and are able to drive our motors, kick the ball, and things like that. And finally, we have the software team, which is responsible more for the strategy. So things like, how does a robot actually play as a goalie? Or where should robots be at a certain time? And how do we obey the rules of soccer? So, and that's what we do. How are things going here, guys? Uh, getting, getting on. No? Yeah, things are moving around, so it looks like good progress. Keep it up. Think fast. Think fast. Ooh. <laughs> what is your favorite part about being on this team? Uh, my favorite part about being on this team, and I think about all student teams in general, is really how much ownership everyone gets to have of their projects. So being able to actually apply what you've learned in school and take that, design something, build something on the team, and then really get to see the fruit of your labor in the robots moving and playing in a game is really, I think, the coolest part of everyone getting to really be engaged in what they do. Hey, so we're about to have a little fun with the Thunderbot robots. Come along. Ready. Why is it spinning? It looks like it's broken. Yeah, so the robot spinning is actually not broken. So what happens is, let's say you have an enemy robot yeah. that has the ball in its grip. It's actually really difficult for our robots to go face to it and then pull that ball straight out. So by spinning, instead we'll go up to it and then actually knock the ball out sideways, which is a lot easier, and then we can go recover the ball later on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank mm -hmm. you.